We actually took her to get checked about 18 months old. We actually suspected that she had a squint. We got referred to the hospital and they tested her eyes and said, the good news is she doesn't have a squint. The bad news is she's actually minus five in one eye. So obviously we were quite surprised because we were not expecting that. Short sight does run in my family. So straight away she needed glasses and then they told us about the special lens that she could have as treatment. Penelope has come to us from the hospital having been prescribed some spectacles and we've dispensed her here. My name's Damon Reavy. Um, I'm a prescribing optometrist who is uh, optometry director in Spectators Taunton. I've gotten involved later. It was her mother Verity who's brought attention to this because of such a, an unusual circumstance. They were really surprised actually. They said it's really rare to be that strong in one eye you know they might expect minus one and zero but not minus five and zero that's when they thought the you know the myopic lens was the best route to go down on that one side most children don't have their eyes tested till they're at school so they did say you know if we hadn't suspected a squint and taken her and this hadn't been picked up until she was school age it could have actually been a lot worse Definitely took some getting used to, a lot of this, <laughs> pulling them off. It helped that her brother did have glasses at the time as well, so, and obviously I wear glasses, so I think she was a little bit more happy from that point of view. But we do have to patch the good eye every day for about four hours, so that's more of the fight, is getting the patch on, because obviously it's not nice because then she's using her weaker eye. Myopia management is, is massive. It's one of my, my kind of core passions. I'm a high myop myself. Um, just recently spotted that my daughter is, so she's in myopia management immediately. And I'm so grateful that this exists because even five years ago, it wasn't uh, broadly available. I would wish that I had had the opportunity to have this management whenever I was a child. Our generation hasn't had that opportunity, but the next generation does. She's almost three. She's had them since she was 18 months old. Um, and so far it's been working really well for her. They said that because of the difference, thank you. Basically because of the difference in the two eyes, if we don't patch, then her brain might just disregard the bad eye and it might turn in and then go lazy. So we've got to do it. Without the glasses, she can see fine because of that one good eye. But with the patch, obviously it's a little bit, takes her some getting used to. I think I'm very conscious about eyesight just because it, say it runs in my family. My sister was quite myopic, but Penelope's age, she was sort of a minus 11. So we know about it. If you suspect anything's abnormal with your child's sight, it's always best, you know, better to be safe than sorry. We obviously didn't expect the diagnosis that we actually had. So sort of say that to everyone now. If you have any concerns, just go and speak to your, your optician. <laughs> Sometimes she loves telling you what she can see on the board. Other times she decides that she's not speaking. <laughs> so. Obviously it's harder, but they have these amazing machines that they can, you know, even hold close to her face and it will give a rough prescription. It's amazing what is available now. She has to have eye drops every six months so they can properly read the prescription. That's the hard bit. They sting and it makes her vision blurry. And again, it's just trying to explain that to a two-year-old. At that age, you're looking at um, cycloplegic refraction and then you're getting out your retinoscope to, to do that. That's typically what you're trying to do. Trying to do an auto, auto refractor is going to be difficult. Though I have worked in a practice that also specializes in pediatrics and they've got a handheld autorefractor, which is quite useful. Essentially, you're going back to your core training, which is retinoscopy, using some drops to paralyze that muscle that focuses. Since she's had her lens, she hasn't gone any worse, which is amazing. They said, you know, if this had been picked up at school age, she could have been, you know, minus 10 or worse by that point because it is so fast progressing. Obviously, it was hard knowing that she was minus five, but knowing that there was something that could stop oh, that progressing any worse was a relief. They've said that they imagine that it will be covered by the NHS in a few years once they've got more research. But why they're so interested in Penelope's case is they have no current research under the age of five. The data suggests that you'll slow things down, but certainly anecdotally, my experience has been that it kind of stops it or you get very little progression. It's only over a couple of years so far, so it remains to be seen how that plays out. We'll have longer term studies over the coming years and decades, I'm sure. The first time that we went, obviously, and they told us that news, I was really upset because I just wasn't expecting it. I thought we're here to see if she's got a squint and, you know, was thinking she probably hasn't. It's probably nothing. We'll just, you know, be on our way. Um, so when we found that out, I was really sad because I am I think my worst eye is minus four. So knowing that she was worse than me as well, at age 18 months, it was really hard, yeah. Most people don't get that test until they're at school. Um, and 
in Penelope's case, it would have been, you know, too late, really. You know, they said that she could have progressed to a squint because of getting a lazy eye from it. She's at nursery now and they're amazing at getting her to put a patch on as well. And they have sort of a chart that hospital gave us where she can stick her used ones on and make it like a, <laughs> excuse me, make it like a game. Um, and actually her key worker had has a son that patches as well so excuse me excuse me you're choking you just want to be on camera don't you